I might okay. I might be tripping. I'm good. So let's see, we are moving in to Battlefield as our starter for game one here. So I'm definitely very interested to see, one of the first things we saw out of the gate was Vitz picking up the gyro. So I'm curious to see if he's going to be uh, including that in his, in his play. Yeah. I'm curious to see how this matchup sort of plays out. Joker, I feel like... And theoretically, shouldn't struggle with Rob too much, but obviously, when you're playing against Dill, you're playing against a different type of Rob for sure. Absolutely. But Joker has all the tools to really take advantage of Rob's, you know, huge weight. All the crazy conversions that Joker could get off of grab are definitely on deck against a Rob. So, but if Rob is just hanging out upstairs, what are you gonna do? You can't Dill, grab no one up there. <laughs> Dill has. No interest, but still getting up smashed on our way down. But that's an Arsene gone. I think that was I, smart. I didn't quite see like the exact uh, percentage of the meter, yeah. but that felt like a full 50% of Arsene just gone from Dill stalling up top. Yeah. And especially with like the battlefield platforms. Mm -hmm. Like, she, she got way up there. Yeah, that was super smart by Dill waiting out the Arsene. And what can you do as Joker when Dill's just chilling up there, you know? It's very hard. Unless yeah. you commit to staying on the top platform and trying to get something going, it's really going to be difficult. But Joker, uh, Arsene is back. Yep, Arsene is back round two this time. Going to see if Vitz can make a little bit more usage or if uh, Dill's going to be hanging out up top again. There she goes. Yeah. Up to the top corner and trying to snipe out with the Aegons. But that meter is going down fast, and it is just about gone. That is a lot of uh, Joker's kill power gone. Almost running out of gas there was Dill, but just able to make it back to ledge. I feel like Dill has a specific strategy against Joker, and it was it was doing you know it's going pretty well. Four four fifty four in, and we're pretty much even money. So let's see how the rest of this plays out. But yeah, the the long and slow game being played by Dill right now. But that's what you want to try to avoid, these grabs from Joker. Yeah, and I have to imagine, you know, it's part of the mental game because yeah. Dill is definitely no stranger to taking games long. Right. But, you know, how is Bits going to going to deal with that? Because yeah. when your opponent is stalling you out, it can get frustrating. Like, please, I would like to play the video game now. I paid money. Absolutely. Such a big mentality shift to, you know, really commit to using your patient game plan and look, just just try to see where the match progresses, how it goes, and if you could stick to that, great. But all right, Vitz trying to get tricky off the edge. Trying to catch Dill yeah. going really low that time. Yeah. Which I mean, Joker I think especially can contest that area. Mm -hmm. Back air is just such a great move in Joker's toolkit to Either, you know, catch you as you're trying to recover, or if you're trying to stall by the stage, try to hit you against the stage. So, very interesting. Oh, is that a... Oh, oh all right, we looping. We Infinite? Looping. No. <laughs> they patched that out. <laughs> I think I saw on, on Twitter, like, either Spargo or MKLeo doing that, like, over a hundred times, right. seeing who could do it more. The up air drag downs for Joker, and it was, like, crazy to see. Like yeah. a Mario Party minigame. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Very sneaky Makar Karn there by Vitz doing it while outside of the camera, but another up throw is going to be all it takes for Dill. Dill not really having to worry about any, like, intricate confirms to get these kills because she's running these stocks so long. Yeah. She's able to just get enough chip for another up throw kill. Yeah, absolutely. And now Vitz being behind uh, was able to get the first stock, but now this time has there to it is. deal with Dill with the lead. Dill actually coming down right from the Angel platform. Not even going to uh, wait for the Arsene timer, but a gyro into Arm Rotor. Going to be taking things for Vitz. Not, not waiting too long that time. Yeah, that was a swift adjustment by Dill. Said, all right, that's enough. I'm done. Yeah. I want um, this. It's time to step on the gas. <laughs> yeah. It's time for game one to be over. But excellent job to both competitors. Um, very curious to see how game two is going to go. And and maybe the stage had a lot to do with that, right? Given how high of a ceiling uh, Battlefield has. Oh, absolutely. And especially with the, um, the top platform. Yeah. 
And so it looks like they are going to small battlefield for game two. Going to be getting rid of that top platform. And okay. Meaning, you know, a little less height for Dill to, to stall from. Yeah. I wonder if Dill implements the same game plan that she utilized in game one. Just really, you know, if our send's on deck, waiting it out, picking your openings, getting that chip damage like you mentioned, and then on a whim, just blasting out rotor arm, seeing if you die. Yeah, you know, sometimes if you've been holding back the whole time, you get that one, like, surprise interaction, and yeah. get, uh, Dill was able to convert that into the game-winning stock. Yeah. Okay. Whose nair is better, Rob's uh, or Joker's? <laughs> I'm gonna say Rob's. Okay. Oh, pretty definitively. Okay. Nice. I was gonna say they're both really damn good. <laughs> they, oh, absolutely, they're really good. <laughs> yeah. It, it's just like both of their nairs lead into so much. Um, a lot of the cast, of course, has that mechanic, but for these two characters, you really want to look out for that. And now this time, Dill is pressing her advantage oh. at the ledge, getting Oof. that long-lasting down air. Not a, not quite able to get the kill just yet, but you know this is just kind of another form of stalling for Dill. Running back, throwing the lasers, and Arsene already gone. Not really able to get too much value out of it. How did Rob end up there? <laughs> well, good back air there by Dill. Yeah, Rob ended up in the perfect position to be thrown out of back air and getting Vitz's uh, first stock. Arsene oh. back on line once again. Gonna see if Vitz can find a little more value this time. Looking for the jump guns. Very interesting that Vitz decided not to challenge uh, Rob off stage there, but rightfully so. I mean, still was able to sneak in the back air and get the first, and get the kill. Yep, and there is Arsene gone once again. Dill still sitting at 0% here on her second stock. And really just uh, trying to keep her space thus far. Oh, right. beautiful job there by Vitz getting that 49% combo. But right away, Dill was able to throw the gyro and kind of stop it in its tracks. Yep, and, you know, even though, you know, oh, ooh, that was almost sick. That was gun. You could do so many things from gun. It's so cool. When, yeah. when Joker pulled out, or I'm sorry, when MKLeo pulled out the Joker at um, Ludwig, the Ludwig Invitational, the utilage of gun off stage, converting it into like either a forward air or a back air, it was crazy. I was oh, yeah. like, that was so sweet. But yeah. anyway, sorry, Armor, you were saying? Ooh, I'm not saying nothing, but <laughs> Vitz is still living here. Dead? Yeah. Getting the drag down up air, Vitz now with a stock lead. And it's gone. <laughs> Dill said, okay, you want to up smash me? I got something for you. Just just like game one, the, the stock leads for Vitz are, they, they do not last long, unfortunately. Yeah. All right, cute little Z-drop gyros coming in and getting some nice uh, meter off of the Rebels Guard. But I feel like these uh, the small battlefield platforms, especially, you know, we do talk nice. about how small battlefield is yep. a much more neutral stage mm. than uh, PS2. Okay. But yep. the 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 two platform layout definitely still benefits uh, zoners and mm -hmm. especially like Rob, who can just set up the gyro to to wall out the horizontal approach while the platform right. helps with the vertical approach. Yeah. Very good. Very true. And even from beyond there, she can just continue threatening with lasers. See right there, Dill using that exact same setup and using it to pressure Vitz and get her way in for a down tilt. Ooh. Oh. All right. Up smash Ooh. at 100, maybe? Hey. All right. It's going to say, yeah, it's probably. Oof. Well. Just a kind of a randy up smash. <laughs> That was twice oh, in that set. <laughs> that was twice in that game. Just yeah. Dill throwing out the raw up smash and getting the stocks, getting it done. Oh, we're jamming. Just, yeah, just reacting to the roll and Dill yep. able to, clo to clutch it out. Because that, re that really felt like Vitz's game to win, especially with yeah. the counter pick. It yeah. felt like he was making really great use of the counter pick. Agreed. And I felt with both games, they were very doable for Vitz. And uh, it was just a game of inches, you know? That that read by Dill, very nicely done to get the up smash. Well, here as well, but to end the game. But uh, in game one, 
just that one conversion off of gyro into rotor arms sealed the deal. But uh, Dill advancing, our, our resident house at 3000, top eight staple. Absolutely. Uh, but we got plenty of matches coming your way. Uh, so, yeah. I we think, are we throwing it to a break? Not, Not yet. yet. All right. All right. Well, we have someone next. We don't know who it is. The bread is cold, Devin. It do be cold, what? though. Go put it in the oven. Oh. <laughs> The bread is cold. Thank you for the follow. You know, it's just a little.